Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Matt and it is Fiendish Friday. Yes, it is. Did I said that correct? It is Fiendish Friday, finally, guys. Yeah, finally. T G I M F and F. Yes. I am so glad that all of you are here to see my face because I am definitely happy to see each and every one of yours. Um, and also, I hope you're having a great morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk, as usual, as I like to say. Please do like, share, and subscribe. Um, I love seeing all your new faces around here, so please, please pop on and uh, uh, jump on and see if uh, what you like, if you like my stuff. Remember, Monday through Friday, every day, there, there will be a review, or a, an opinion review, whatever you want to call it. Uh, about a film so do always keep that in mind every monday through friday saturday sunday i take it take those days off gotta spend time with the family you know all that good stuff um yeah so let's get on to the film of the day today's is from 1977 a few years before my the day before my birth um this this one's running at an hour and 36 minutes uh, I don't know if there is any other cuts on this one. Um, I'm sure there's uh, uh, stuff that's been cut on uh, on the uh, European releases of it because it did suffer from the BBFC video nasties. Uh, it did go through that. I believe this one's on the Section 3 list, um, uh, if, if memory serves me correctly. But... Uh, um, this one did suffer a lot with, with as far as editing went with cutting out uh, a lot of the juicy goodness. Um, and most of it, in my opinion, probably was um, like every Italian cannibal film that exists out there. There's, um, or out of the older ones, there is the uh, the uh, dreaded uh, animal animal uh, uh, death stuff that happens which is always kind of kind of cringy I'm not gonna lie um, this one it it had a very uh, intense scene a couple of intense scenes with animals and it uh, really uh, uh, it was just like shook me for a little bit it definitely it's not the reason why why I find this movie so disturbing <laughs> it's one of those that it's it's a cannibal film you know that's why i'm doing it because it's an awesome cannibal film it's an italian cannibal film uh i don't find it like like i mean obviously cannibalism is disturbing and bad and and all that but this isn't one where i'm like oh my god that is so raw and extreme. Oh my God, you should watch this. This is not one of those kind of films. Uh, this is just one of those that is amazing and well-made, top-notch acting, uh, fantastic um, story to follow, very easy to, to follow as well. No, no real plot holes that I noticed in this film. It's very, very well made. Um, and like I said, there's some amazing acting in here from uh, Massimo Foshi and Mimi Lai and Ivan Rossimov, which I like Ivan Rossimov. He's always great in everything he is, he does. Uh, I, I've always been a fan of his. But here we go. It is none other than Jungle Holocaust. Yes, and there's the uh, the Mass Massimo uh, uh, Foshi guy and uh, Mimi Lai. Uh, very very um, memorable duo in as far as in this film I mean uh, uh, he's obviously the star of the film and she becomes um, essentially his love interest you know um, she is one of the first people um, actually I'm jumping too far ahead of things um, first off this is the uh, Shriek Show yes this is the Shriek Show Media Blasters a uh, release of this from the Ruggiero del Dato collection because this is directed by Ruggiero, who's awesome. Um, let me open this up. This one's got a bunch of cool stuff in it. Like other, than, it's a standard issue press DVD. You get a index card, and you get all of these beauties, all these lovely little picture uh, picture cards from uh, different. 
different countries. Uh, very, very cool stuff. I, I really, really like this release. Um, and as far as far as special features go, if you guys can even read that, um, good luck. Uh, I know I had a hard time reading on this one because uh, whoever designed this, um, it looks cool. Don't get me wrong. This looks cool on 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 the uh, artwork. I really do like this artwork, and it and it works. But um, on the back, the writing it blends in. It's so so small, and it blends in, and it's hard to really read. Um, it, it maybe that's just me. I have a really hard time with that super super fine print. Uh, I, it's definitely uh, uh, I'm I'm showing my age when I when I have to break out the the magnifying glass and do one of those numbers and I eye, uh, eyeball it and try to figure out what I'm looking at because you know I'm I'm old maybe I need bifocals already I don't know they didn't say I needed them at the at the uh, um, eye doctor when I was there last ah <laughs> oh, gosh um so that's that's what uh that's what the uh this edition's all about. Um as far as what it's about, it's about these uh this group of oil prospectors that are heading to um I forget where it is in in the exact world uh, is like uh somewhere in the like I want to say Philippine area, I, Micronesia area. I could be very wrong, Polynesian area area. Um I could be wrong, but uh, uh, they're they're oil prospectors. They they're going to check on this spot where 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 they've been excavating. There's a they they made a makeshift runway already there. It's a very small little little um, setup. Like there's it's like three or four tents and and just a few people. You know, it's a very 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 small setup going. It's just beginning. One of those kind of ordeals. I is how I, I look at it as but um they they land there there's all the talk uh, as they're going there there's all the talk of oh the, is there cannibals that still exist there and and things of that nature um that that whole stuff is you know the whole build up of what's going to happen they they land there um they unfortunately they kind of crash land uh, because as they're as they're rolling along on the the runway after they they made contact with the ground and they're they're trying to slow down they run over uh, I believe it was the uh, this the station radio for for the radio um, for um, that the camp that they were going to which it's like oh it found its way all the way out into the runway and was all buried oh, all buried and and they the wheel hit it hit it and it knocks it off um i personally am like uh, i don't know i understand things come up on you real quick but that's one of those things that i don't i guess i didn't understand why they went and put it in the because it's it was it's not like it was in the middle of the thing. It didn't seem like that. It seemed like it was kind of over on the side. So maybe it was just poor poor uh, landing on on the behalf of the pilot, or or you know it was just one of those one of those things that um, uh, I'm just gonna say poor pilot. I'm just gonna say poor pilot. Um, but anyways. Uh, uh, I lost my train of thought there for a second, but uh, they they land, the wheel falls off, they they go check the little little camp. Um, nobody's to be found. They find eventually find the radio in the runway. Um, they're fixing the thing, the tire. They have to stay there overnight because they can't. Uh, um, as the pilot says, I can't blindly fly in this terrain, which I totally agree because you don't know. It's a lot of up and it's a lot of mountains and, and uh, um, valleys and hills. Uh, so that's that's something that's got to play into mind when it comes into that uh, that part of it. So they're all like hanging out inside the airplane. Uh, overnight, you get to see a couple little cannibal people pop up 
here and there uh, in the windows without people noticing. Uh, eventually one of the girls, the girl that's with, with them, uh, goes out, not, not to be confused with the Mimi Lai character, she's part of the tribe, uh, but one of the girls goes out and, and gets, um, snatched up by the cannibals, la 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 la, that happens next morning, they can't find her, da 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 da, they try, they are ambushed, um, they take off running, uh, essentially, Massimo's character is kidnapped by the tribe. They they're in a uh, cave type system, uh, and they they take him and they they hold him hostage down in there. And basically, what they're doing is they're doing some kind of primitive um, rituals, and they're going to because there's also two birds down there with him as well, a eagle and um, I forget what the other kind of bird was that was in there with him. It's um, a very uh, uh, um, unique looking bird. It's one of those, like, you see a picture of it and you go, oh yeah, that's that's what I saw. But I can't think of the name of it. Um, but uh, they have those down there with him, uh, and they slowly, like, they're... they're um, sacrificing these animals to to alligators essentially and they think this guy can fly and they they're going to uh feed him to the alligator in, in a roundabout way um very very gnarly there's a gnar speaking of gnarly there's a scene where uh, a tribes a tribesman a tribes a tribal lady uh, is having a baby next to the to the river and you know it's you don't see a whole lot of like what's going on it's it's from a distance you're you're looking um, at her from you know from probably 15 yards away you know behind a tree and, and through tree line uh, she's clearly having a baby she after she's done she chews off the umbilical cord and proceeds to throw the baby in the water with the alligators <laughs> um, that was just that that part it made me laugh I don't know why because when the alligators get there they um, the director, the they put uh, the filmmakers, they put uh, a really loud crunch, crunch, crunch sound to it, and it just—I don't know why it made me giggle, but it, it totally did. Bad man, bad man. But anyways, um, so that's your your setup for the film. You got it from there on. I want you to check it out and see what you think about it. Um, it's it's definitely worth worth the watch. Um, I. Uh, as far as this release, I'm sure you can get it still for, I mean, it'll be, have to more than likely be a used copy, uh, because, um, to buy, to buy a brand new copy of this still, s still sealed, uh, would probably be, uh, a little pricey, I imagine. But do check out Jungle Holocaust from 1977. Um, let's get on to my ratings of this thing on the one through five for a technical side. Uh, it's pretty pretty good. Uh, Ruggiero is a accomplished uh, film director. We all know him from from other films like uh, uh, what is it, Cannibal Holocaust, of course. Uh, um, and then he did um, another. What's the other one? I I mostly know him for uh, House on the Edge of the Park. Great film right there with David Hess and uh, Giovanni Lombardi release. Very good film. Do check that one out if you have not seen that one. Um, but I'm going to say that this one, it deserves a four on as far as a technical side. Like I said the plot earlier, there's no real plot holes in it. The acting is solid. Um, Massimo just crushes it. Mimi Lai, who is... Um, who is definitely the weaker the weaker actor out of the three, including Ivan Rosimov, who Ivan is just always crushing it. He is he is just on top of his game. Every movie I've seen him in, uh, the guy is awesome. Um, uh, but uh, I'm yeah four on that. And then as far as the entertainment side, that acting carries over, and it's so good. Um, the tribe people are definitely they deliver on the uh, uh, scare factor, I guess. If if that if you find them scary, because um, if you find Cannibal Holocaust, like if you if that, I guess 
gets you, like, disturbs you, then this is going to as well. It's, um, Cannibal Holocaust is the granddaddy of them all and is way better than this, but, um, this is a very, very well-made film, and, but, so don't, don't, uh, uh, don't uh, uh, disregard this film as not being as good as Cannibal Holocaust. Granted, Jungle Holocaust, Cannibal Holocaust, that was a thing that the, the Italians did. They had, they kept a name similar. They they called names sequel, films sequels that weren't sequels and da-da-da-da-da, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. <laughs> so I want to give this thing another four on the entertainment side. This is a solid eight out of ten. I would... S I say two thumbs up, two separate thumbs up. Go check this son of a gun out. I'm going to get the hell out of here. It's the weekend. I got stuff to do. I'm going to probably go mow the lawn today or tomorrow for sure. Uh, I'll see y'all on Monday. Love your faces.